this video from Sharpel, we're going to demonstrate how you can adjust the uh, number of decimal places on your XCA213 or XCA302 register. In this video I'm using the UK model, the 213, but the process will be the same on the 302 as well. Um, so I'm based in the UK, so we always use two decimal places. So if we ring a pound through a till, so if I press this button here, which is four pounds, it's always 4.00. Likewise, if you type in a pound and assign it to a department button, it's always 1.00. The till knows that 100 equals 1.00, 100 pence equals a pound. Uh, obviously, that's not the case everywhere. Um, different countries have different decimal places and it's possible to edit the till or program the till to suit your location. Uh, now just a bit of background, this information is in the till manual. So if you've got access to the 213 manual, certainly it's on page 65. You have a job code here at the top, which is, sorry, you have a flow chart here, which is what you follow um, to do the program. So you turn the key to the PGM mode, press subtotal, you then enter the job code, and the job code for adjusting the um, decimal places is 61. So you have to find job code 61, which is here. Job code 61, so you type in 61 there, you press the multiply button, and then the bit that confuses everyone is this A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H um, code. You then finish with subtotal and TL and S, which is obviously straightforward. So what does the A to H mean? The A to H is basically you have to enter a numeric value for each of A to H. So it says here A always enter zero, B always enter zero, and then all the other ones are different settings. I'm going to use on the cash registers, not just sharps, but all of them, when, when you do a bit of programming, you tend to not be controlling one setting at a time. You're often editing lots of settings. So you need to look down here and double check. It's only the last one that affects the position of the decimal point. Um, the rest are to do with, well, there's all sorts of things on here. What I'm going to do is use the default for all the numbers. So you see here, C is negative department and PLU sub department. Enable is the default one, which has a little asterisk next to it. So my code is going to be all the default ones. So 00100011, that's all the default ones here. Obviously, you've got to double check that that's suitable for your register. Don't follow what I do blindly. What I'm interested in is H, which is the position of the decimal point um, from the right. So you can have zero all the way up to three and two is the default. Um, so I'll, I'll program a couple, I won't do them all, I'll program a couple of different ones um, just to show you the theory of how it works and then we can look at how it prints on the register. So if we pop that out of the way. I hope that made sense about the job codes. Hopefully by the end of the video it will do. So I'll just leave this up here. Um, so you need the metal key marked MA. You need to turn it around to the PGM position. And then the first button you press is subtotal, so marked ST on my machine. And then you type in the job code 61 and then the multiply button. Now we enter the code, so remember I'm using all the defaults, so 0010011, and then the last digit, the eighth digit, is the one that controls the number of decimal places. So if you have no decimal places, you would enter 0, followed by ST, and then TLNS. You get a little printout confirming the programming you've done, and you'll see straight away the display has changed, so I had 0.00. .00. Now I've just got zero. So when I turn the key back to the register position and I type in 100 into this button here, remember what it did before was put the point in. So it was 1.00, now it's just 100. If I sell this button here, instead of being four pounds, 4.00, it's 400. So we've removed the decimal place. So if that's suitable for your country or territory, perfect. If not, you can set it to, um, I won't do one, I'll do three, and then I'll put it back to two. I believe, from a bit of research, that two decimal places or no decimal places would cover the vast majority of countries in the world. Um, so to set it to three decimal places, you go MA key round to PGM, subtotal, 61 for the job code, multiply button, and then all the default programming for me, which is 0010011. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. 
and then for decimal places instead of two or zero I'm going to pop in three then subtotal and then TLNS straight away the displays changed again key to reg if we type in 100 into the department one it now looks very different and likewise if we sell our factures it looks different as well so if that's suitable for your region perfect if not what I'm going to do to finish on is to program it to the most popular one um, which is two decimal places like we have in the UK um, so again key round to PGM subtotal 61 multiply 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, and then two decimal places followed by subtotal TLNS it's important not to follow what I do blindly because one of the popular formats is the the last two are to do with the 12 hour or 24 hour format so I've gone for 24 hour format if you want 12 hour format you would go for zero and then the date format in the UK we have day month year but obviously I know around the world you have lots of different well there's three settings in total so just double check um, that it prints out exactly how you want it to and you can see now I'm back to two decimal places and my 100 is a pound which is comfortable to me because that's what I'm used to and all the PLUs are back to their correct pricing. Okay, hope that video has been helpful. Uh, we've got plenty more videos showing you how to get the best out of the XEA213 and other sharp cash registers. Some of those videos will be appearing on screen now so you're welcome to check those out. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit sharphelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.